Moving back up to the filter menu, let's take a look at that liquify filter. There it is. And I'll just squeeze this down so you can see that. There we go. And let's adjust this to fit in view. Now the liquify filter allows you to push the image around kind of like you're pushing a, an image painted on clay. And there's all kinds of options up here. We have the warp tool, which is kind of a finger tool. We have a twirl clockwise and counterclockwise. We have a pucker tool and a bloat tool. And shift pixels. And then a reconstruct tool, which undoes what these things do. Each one of these has settings you can adjust over here on the right hand side. Brush size and brush pressure. And let's just see what this does. So I'll start off here with the warp tool. And the warp tool allows me to actually push the image around just like, as I mentioned, this was on painted on clay, and I could just push the clay around and, and re, reform or reposition this based upon, you know, just, just shoving it. As you can see here, it takes the pixels and just kind of pushes the pixels over based upon what I'm, you know, what I'm doing here with my motions. I can revert to the original like that, or if I came in and did some stuff, I, I wanted to just undo a little bit of that. I can use this tool down here, the reconstruct brush, and just kind of paint over that area and it will back up on those steps. So the revert goes clear back to the beginning. The reconstruct brush takes you back kind of in stages, allowing you to reconstruct you know, more slowly and get it back to where you want. So you can use this, again, like a finger painting tool, kind of just push the image around a little bit. The twirl tool actually twirls it. I'm going to change the brush size so you can really see this. That's too much. That's pretty good. I'll put it here on this wagon wheel. And I'll just hold it for a minute. You can see how it's actually twirling the image around the spot that I was holding it on. So that it twirls the image. In this case, it's twirling it clockwise. Let's just twirl this one again a little bit. There we go. Let's twirl the image around clockwise making kind of wacky wheels on this thing. There we go. Now again I can use my reconstruct brush and take out part of this. So I'm fixing the outer rim of this with a reconstruct but I'm leaving the part inside messed up. There we go. Kind of looks like I got, got bent up in here somehow. So we have that. I was doing a clockwise rotation. The other tool does a counterclockwise rotation. Exact same thing, it just spins it the other direction as you can see here. It's going to spin that around. Now you can take this and just move it along and it will do kind of a rotational thing as you go as well, kind of a a warping effect. Makes for some very interesting looks. It also works up and down. There you go. Let's revert that to the original. The next one here this is the pucker tool, and let's just bring our brush size up so you can see that a bit more. And it just squeezes things in from that point, so I can make these real small wheels if I want to. And it looks pretty good. It looks like it actually has small wheels on it. Let's revert. The other one here makes things larger. like that. You can actually make areas larger. Now you've seen this particular tool used a lot. It became very, very popular on greeting cards for a while. So there, there it is. Now I'll show you a demonstration of that in just a moment. This final tool actually takes things and moves them to the side like that or up and down. If I move to the right it moves it up, move to the left it moves it down. I move it up, it moves it to the left, and down moves it to the right. So it kind of takes it and moves it around in kind of opposite of the way that I'm pushing it. Okay, let's just cancel that out for a second, and let's bring up another file here. And let me see if I can find my Robin picture. There we go. There's Robin. I'll bring Robin up. And let's go back here to our Distort and Liquify. And let's zoom in. Grab the hand tool and bring Robin in like that. Let's bring our 
our brush size way down here. That's enough. There we go. A little more. Too much. Okay. There you go. I'm sure you've seen this kind of thing on greeting cards all over the place. It became very, very popular there for a while. These things, these big bug out bug eyes. And easy to do here, as you can see here with this liquify tool, just grab the bloat tool, adjust your brush size so it fits, and then bloat or stretch out those areas. It works great on eyes, as you can see here. So there's our, our cat with the big bug eyes. Looks kind of strange, like kind of an alien cat. Okay, so there we go. That is the final of our distortion tools, the liquify filter. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.